So this is a plant pot and this is what I want to plant. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's like radicchio or something. Um, I've never planted it before, which inspired me to make this video because I've never planted it before. I don't know what soil it likes. So I thought today I would make a video on how to set a pot up that will give enough nutrients for almost anything that you plant into, into it. How should you set your plant pot up and what soils should you use to do it? So as we look from left to right, we have a potting mix in the orange. In the blue, we have a garden mix. Excellent for silver beet. Excellent. My silver beet has never been crazier this year. And then on the right is like your top up soil, compost. Now, depending on your level of knowledge, you may already know what each of these soils does. Great. What are they used for? Well, potting mix, which you can't see because I'm sitting in front of it, is used for new plants. So that's what you plant um, into from seed. Garden mix is used for plants that are long cropping or plants that are that you're going to eat such as silver beet, carrots, really good to use garden mix. Uh, compost is what you put on your plants to keep them with a lot of nutrients. Now, what most people will do with their pot is just put potting mix in it and nothing else. But that's not really ideal. They might top it up with some liquid compost or some normal dirt compost like this as it's growing but it's not actually the ideal way to layer a pot so i'm going to show you how to layer a pot properly so that you don't have to baby it so much so a pot's empty what do we put in first well what do you want the plant to do you want to grow as many roots as possible which means you want the roots to seek towards the bottom of the pot. So what should we put on the bottom of the pot? Something, some sort of soil that does not drain very well. So that when the water reaches it, it sits on top of it. Which means that the roots are always seeking that water that's sitting on the bottom. So let's go and find some soil that doesn't drain well. So, do you see this stuff? Quite tough. Clay, almost. Covered in bark. It's the sort of thing that you want. So let's grab some. And you can, you'll be able to see it. It's quite thick. It's, it's, not very, it's not very loose. So let's cover the bottom of our pot with this soil. So I'm getting this just out of my garden. Um, out of a spot that was holding some uh, perennials like this rosemary here you see the rosemary oh. so it was a plant that i dug up and now i've got this empty space and so this soil probably doesn't contain many nutrients and it's quite thick and hard and it holds water water will sit on top of it when i water this so you want to start with that as your base let's pick that piece of grass out you want to start with that as your base so that water will sit on top it'll still drain through to the holes which is excellent we want that as well so that the worms can come up but um yeah we want something nice and and hard like this so if you're a keen listener from the last clip i mentioned that the soil that i've just used probably doesn't have a lot of nutrients how do we add nutrients to it? It's pretty simple, really. The answer is compost. Compost is just filled with nutrients. The problem is, is that when you're planting things from seed, compost can almost have too much nutrients and it kills the plant. Um, so what you want to do is you want it near the bottom so that it soaks down into the nutrient deficient soil. And after the plant gets bigger, you want to just continually add either dirt compost if you've got room or 
liquid compost as the plant grows because what it's doing is it'll sit on the top and it soaks down to where the roots are and then the roots will suck it up as, as needed so it soaks down but when you're preparing for a plant that you just don't know much about like this uh, plant that I'm planting now you want it just above that kind of clay layer because as the seed grows the roots will be small and it'll be hitting the top layers and then as it gets bigger the roots get larger and then as it needs more nutrients it hits the compost down the bottom and it hits it at the time that it actually needs it and uh, can handle it so after your clay layer let's put a layer of compost so you won't need many scoops of the compost you just want a couple of centimeters really don't need a lot um, so this hopefully when I shake it out it, they recommend around five centimeters all the gardening stores that I've talked to all the gardeners I've talked to they say five centimeters uh, I don't know how much that is in inches um, so now we have a clay layer and we have a small layer of compost notice how much empty space there is in the pot because we don't want the roots of the new plant hitting that compost too quickly we want it to hit it there when the plant has grown and it's quite large uh, and it really needs the nutrients uh, so what do we add next so I have no idea what this is the reason I'm planting it into a pot is so I can try it before I plant it in an entire garden bed over something else that I enjoy. So I'll try it in a pot first, let it grow, give it a taste. If I like it, excellent. That's the whole point of me planting it into a pot. But I don't know what this is. Can we use our brain to figure out what kind of soil it needs next though? It looks like it grows similar to silver beet cabbage lettuce something like that so the next soil I'm going to put on is going to be a garden mix now you could absolutely get away with just using potting mix for the rest of the pot from here so uh, you could do that but I'm going to add garden mix because this looks like a garden kind of garden mix sort of vegetable if that makes any sense remember when you're planting it's all about the nutrients so you need to use your head a little well well and if you do it right you'll get better results and tastier crops so we're going to put garden mix into this pot next so as you can see we've put the garden mix in now and the rest of the pot up to this line here because if a pot has a line like this guys you see around the top you don't want to fill it up to the top because you might want to use compost to give nutrients to the plant later um, and you know you can use that empty space to do that um, also when you're watering if your soil doesn't drain very well it gives a little bit of a buffer so that you don't waste water but um so that's why i filled the garden mix up to here the rest will be potting mix and then we'll plant the seed and go from there so let's fill it up with potting mix and we're going to water it and then plant the seed and then continue so the thing about potting mix and why you need potting mix in a pot is it's quite loose uh and you'll see that as i water it you'll see that all of that um soil sink down a bit so let me show you so you see it dissipates quite quickly nice loose soil all of that water i purposely did it a lot more than i needed to uh, to show you how fast it would sink away that's that's why you want potting mix it's really loose so when the So when the roots are very small when you're growing from a seed you don't want it to have too many obstacles you just 
You just want it to grow down as quickly as possible, give you a nice strong plant. Uh, and that's why you always kind of top off with, with potting mix. So let's plant the seed and then we're done, team. So I am so confident that our soil preparation that we've done together today is going to work that I'm only going to plant one seed. So let's take the seed. It's in the same end as the camera. This is actually quite difficult. Let me just... There we go. Let's point the camera down. There we go. So what we're going to do, um, this is a general rule of thumb. You just want to make a small kind of indent and plop it in and then cover it with soil. What's going to happen next time I water this is that seed may move around. But once it starts taking root, it'll stay firmly in place. So you don't want it too deep because then it can die before it reaches the surface. They generally, they will grow under the soil. It's just that they might die before they reach the surface because they need sunlight. So I just do a small indent at the top. And remember, it's potting mix. It's, it's loose soil. It's, it may move around. So I planted it in the center, but it may end up over here. Or it may end up over there or there. And that can catch some people out. It can catch some people out because if they see something growing over here, they might not think it's their plant. They might think it's a weed. So you don't don't weed this too quickly is kind of what I'm trying to say. Um, so what we'll do, um, so what we'll do, I'm gonna water this one more time, uh, just to make sure it's nice and wet and, and good. And then uh, you guys subscribe to the channel and I'll keep you updated on how this grows and how it turns out and whether it worked. Awesome. Subscribe, comment, like, all that things, all those things that the YouTubers do. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you learned something, and have a great day.